Hello and welcome to another Sleepy Dog construction video. Today's video shows you how to install underground electrical conduits. The contractor has placed nine six inch conduits. The conduits are approximately eight feet deep and will be covered with red concrete. Hi Chewie, welcome to another Sleepy Dog video. Can you tell us what you got going on today? Uh, we're gonna pour concrete from the uh, six, uh, nine, Six inch conduit for electric for electrical. And now the concrete does it have to be a special color? Mm, yes, sir. It's gotta be red red concrete. So state law requires that it is red for future contractors that dig. They see the red contract and understand this electrical underneath it. Yes. Sir. And how many yards are you gonna pour today? Four. Okay. Is it there's no reinforcement or anything like that in this? You just pour it. We just gonna pour. Okay, well, Chewy, I appreciate it, and, and uh, I'm going to video and watch y'all do your magic. Thank you. Thank you. The concrete truck has arrived and has 10 yards of red concrete. The concrete is a 3,000 PSI mix. This means the concrete should achieve a compressive strength of 3,000 pounds per square inch in seven days. As you can see, the concrete has more of a burgundy color. The red concrete is required backfill for all electrical conduits. In the future, if a contractor excavates here, they will see the colored concrete and know there's a buried electrical conduit here. The concrete is required to cover all the conduits and have a final fill of 12 inches above the top of the conduits. The contractor is required to vibrate the concrete to prevent air pockets and make sure the concrete is being placed between and under the conduits. Here we're looking from a different angle. Let me zoom in and get you a closer look. Here's a look at what's been poured so far. The seal plates are in the way of the concrete truck chute so the contractor will fill the track hole bucket and place the concrete that way. The red concrete has been setting up for several hours so it's time for the contractor to remove the trench safety. The worker connects the steel plate and the track hole will lift the heavy plate out of the way. The track hole makes it look so easy. The operator will stack the plates on the roadway. They will need them later today. Here's a look at the concrete. It looks a little more red after curing. Now it's time to backfill the trench. The intersection must be open for the weekend.
The operator places the dirt in the trench and pushes it down with the bucket. This will compact the dirt to 95% of dry density which will be verified by the lab man at a later date. Here's a look at the end of the day. You can see the end of the conduits. The trench has been secured with fencing to prevent animals from falling in the hole. The steel plates a contractor was using for trench safety are now used to open up the intersection. Now you know how to install the electrical conduit. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.